Level 30? Why did you give me this mission? Well, I got... Bye to that. <laughs> nope. Ain't doing that. I'm going to go ahead and take my ass right to Neptune. Let's go. Shit. <laughs> Damn cotton pick of mine. Undock. Going to Luna. We're going to Neptune. That course. What tracks? Think of the hugs. No. No. No hugs. None of that. Sasha can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you'll be able to allow dock. Once you board, expect the crew on the ship to fight back. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Okay, well, I ran into it. Sarah. You got a nice pot here. Good keeper. still hot they're still here hopefully we can get you enough creds for a new ship or still one right <laughs> huh about to kick someone's ass on the toilet <laughs> Is it about my fucking imagination or is there no one goddamn here? Oh, maybe wrong door. 
my gun go back to my gun Did you shop at S Smart? <laughs> Boom, baby. Hey, how you doing, guy? Ah, am I going to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Uh, let's see. And my kind of party. Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Right. I'm going to groan on behalf of scientists everywhere, then you're going to hand over the artifact. <laughs> hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here, happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. You need, you're gonna need to move there, Sarah. You're gonna need to move. Can't get through you. Mari encumbered as it is. Actually, I remember it was. Ooh. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I was trying to find my melee button and she was in the way. She was in the way. Not gonna you know she's like in the way, but she just happened to be where I was hitting. We have your own video. Oh my God, it's that it's that one all over again. No, so I'm trying to. I mean, that's my. So that's like a power move, I guess. Oh shit. Okay, that's definitely needing oxygen. Um. 
but it wants me to do like hand-to-hand -hand com like unarmed combat so I need to guess unequip the axe I guess, like, how do I? Let me actually go to the help. Let me go back to help so I can figure out, like, unarmed combat. Use my fisticuffs. Un unarmed thing isn't okay. So, how about melee? Melee combat. All right, so with a melee weapon equipped, mouse one will attack, and enemy mouse two will block incoming melee attacks. Successfully blocking an attack reduces damage and can stagger an enemy. That's cool. Uh, press V to perform power attack. Power attacks deal more damage against stagger enemies, but will also deplete your oxygen supply. With a ranged weapon equip, you can press V to bash an enemy. You can increase your melee damage output by purchasing corresponding skills in the physical tree in the data menu. Okay. But how do I do like that? Maybe select an empty slot in the wheel. Let me see. I got like seven. Nope. Like, so seven's definitely empty, but it's not doing anything. Oh, that's definitely not what I wanted. Yeah. I don't know. So that's probably I need to look into. It's like, I need to know how to do an unarmed combat. I mean, I'm not sure how many times I'm going to be able to do unarmed combat, to be honest. All right. Um, let's hit the pilot seat. Let's see where we need to go. Undock. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Talking about as much close range that we may be getting away with. Enemies are not exactly slow. They are not. Okay, let's see. Return to the lodge. I saw. Ship. All right. Uh, we can go ahead and just set a course. And jump. Feel as Doctor Who -y as No Man's Sky makes it out to be. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And complete. Enjoy your stay in New Atlantis. The one time I'm gonna have fucking contraband, I know I'm gonna get wrecked for it. <laughs> I mean, we're still going to go to the same places, so let's go speak with Kelton. I think he's ready for us now.
to Outland while we're here, and see if Joe has anything useful to add to our arsenal. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Ooh, cracking knuckles. Okay. And I should have. I'll be okay. I just remembered I'm encumbered. I need to find a trade authority so I can start selling some shit. Can't be going around just hoarding my weapons, I guess. If you got a weapon, you better use it. Oh, damn it. No, I went the wrong way. You didn't say you wanted any. I asked you. I don't count that as food food. I knew I passed them. I absolutely knew I did. Hi, Dex. <laughs> All right, let's see what this dude's up to. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of starts walking down the street, sounding like a box of pots and pans street. rolling down the stairs. <laughs> yep. If you're still paying, I'm still listening. Well, actually, Mast would be pained, but I see your point and assure you that you will be compensated for your time. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day, and yet I never would have imagined it before. He seems the excited. tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. Yeah, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> it means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. So the As tree's horny. Yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to cut the tree down. No, no, I'm sorry, but I believe that reaction is premature. There's still one thing I'd like to try. I'm ready to go, man. No response. <laughs> And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Mm -hmm. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Uh huh. Nice. Short sighted and ill advised, in my opinion. Of course, you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. God forbid. Clearly, no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. So that's a dead end. Clever, but no. Dead not dead. necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. Wait. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, 
I could attempt to simulate a response. Wait. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. And am, am I about to do a national treasure? I'm afraid I can't be two places at once. And I have too much going on here. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kessler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Mm hmm. I'm going to the lodge now. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Mm. Can you imagine all the changes it's seen? Oh, I forgot Sarah was with me. <laughs> Getting ass is still a stick. That's what I'm hearing. Working at the distribution center can be tiring. Definitely didn't know about the spam thing. What? The spam. The what? The cover of the spam, cutting it. Oh, uh, yeah, but you see the spam thing? Uh. Oh, well, I'll watch it later. Yeah, it's Yeah, it was a load screen, so it was like, fuck it. <laughs> I hope you are satisfied with the okay. orders yeah, available it. to you. Go ahead. Do the honors. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive outfit as the artifact is added, then it harmonized it. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. Hey! As a full member this time. Oh, I got a Constellation helmet and suit. I expect the champagne. So she's got botany, leadership, lasers, and astrodynamics. Okay. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. Come back out there. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. All right. Time to go. Uh, let's go check out the skill points. We definitely got the. Uh, I killed four enemies with the shotgun. Sweet. Use healing items 20 times while wounded. Nothing on the tech side. more over like i should be sprinting much more with that then i am super encumbered uh, let's go ahead and increase that so heal 500 damage i can do that all day
think if Trevor was on a different planet or space station or something. Oh, he was on Mars. That's where he was. He was on Mars. Um, and then a late bloomer. I'm already invested with this damn tree. Might as well just go ahead and do this. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, is it? While encumbered, you see that sucker just go down. <laughs> Honor of the mercenary, finish your jobs. I mean, again, I am pretty. Yeah, I'm. I'm invested in this. Sprinting. <laughs> I can't even walk because I just have to just hold on. I meant to look around, see if I got Sarah with me. Sarah's here. There, 250 out of a thousand. I'm hitting it. Oh, bye, Sarah. to our ship or get to the tree authority so I can sell things and then take a small little break I have a plate over here hun I got a plate if you want to get yourself one too I got a plate yay yay yeah, yeah, I'm coming get there I'm gonna get there just like a fat guy running so I'll get there in a moment <laughs> okay I mean, this is good because I really need to get the uh, the meters down for that skill there we go all right give me 